Located southwest of Norwich, Wyndham is a busy market town in Norfolk. Wyndham Town Centre benefits from a range of independent shops where you can find beautiful things for your home. For example, here at the Marmalade Tree, it was opened 15 years ago and attracts many locals and visitors to the town. Not far from the Marmalade Tree, led by an alleyway, you can find Ket's Bookshop, which is run and organised by volunteers. Here is Puff's Toy Shop, opened six years ago. This cute little shop also takes part in the Wyndham Winter Fest and Summer Fair every year. Just around the corner is Roots Community Cafe. Not only is it a cafe, it is also a Baptist church too, where many locals of all different ages come to visit. Wyndham Abbey is one of the most famous landmarks in Wyndham. It is an active parish where many services for worship take place. The war memorial in Wyndham remembers the inhabitants of the town who were killed and went missing during World War I and World War II. Wyndham Art Centre is a charitable and cooperative organisation which is run by the Wyndham Art Forum. There were approximately 20 exhibitions in the Art Centre in 2018 and plans for more in 2019. Wyndham is a typical Norfolk rural town, managing to combine its ancient history with modern day living and celebrating its character and community. I'm chair of the Wyndham Choral Society, um, which was set up in 1980. We now have about 80 singers when everybody's there. Um, and I joined a long time ago. I was very nervous about it. Hadn't sung since I was at school. It was a very welcoming and friendly society. And I've stayed in it ever since. And they persuaded me in the end to be chairman. I'm the accompanist for the Wyndham Choral Society and I've been doing this job for about six years or so since I moved to Wyndham and I've um, been doing the concerts ever since. Uh, great fun to work with and we have a really enjoyable um, evening you know, rehearsing and then when we get to the concert it's very exciting because we're um, you know, performing in some of the great venues of um, this, part of the, this part of the world, Wyndham um, Abbey um, and Attleborough Church. closely with Claire Dixon, the conductor, um, who chooses the music. She's actually managed to get us so well known that we've been to New York to sing in Carnegie Hall and we've been invited to sing in London in a hall called Cadogan Hall in the centre of London. So the choir's doing very well. Most of us sing because we love the music. Generally it's good for your health and it relaxes you. So if somebody has a problem or they're not feeling too well or there's something going on, then a way of getting over it and relaxing is to sing because when you're singing, you can't really think about much else. It's just generally very good fun, but also extremely hard work. My name is Claire Dixon and I uh, am the musical director of Winton Choral Society. And again, I can't remember how long I've been there, but I did originally join to sing. And then the conductor was leaving, and would I take over for a little while, which I did. And my little while has now been about 10 years, 
12 years, something like that. It's been a wonderful experience for us, uh, me and I hope for the choir. I try my hardest to bring the best out of them during rehearsals. I think with the success we've had with our concerts recently, it's been uh, well worth all the effort. My name is Tracy Kenny. I'm the manager of Ketz Books, the independent community bookshop run by volunteers in Wyndham. In 2013, the owner of the bookshop that had been here for many years decided to retire and on Christmas Eve he was going to lock the doors and walk away. One of our group found out about it and called the community together to see if we could save the shop and run it as volunteers. Why did I want to volunteer? Because it's important and because it's books. And I don't think that books just represent a good story. They also represent an opportunity to learn from people who've gone before you, whose experiences matter. Even the cover of a book has the experience and contributions of all the artists who've gone before. One school in a village, the mother was um, really distressed because she had three sons. She couldn't get any of them to read. At least two of them had dyslexia and there were attention problems as well. So I showed her this. If a dyslexic child can achieve this, then they're really going to be achieving something and feeling quite good about themselves. It's, this isn't sort of nationally recognized as being a dyslexia friendly book, but because the story is told in pictures, the children can keep keep turning the page and really make some progress through it because the story is forming in their mind. My name is Trevor Ellingworth. I am a volunteer in Cat's Books. I'm also a director of the company. My wife noticed an article in the local Mercury newspaper and placed it in front of me and said, wouldn't you like to do this? <laughs> and so I did, <laughs> and I've been here ever since. It's, uh, it's quite a, an invigorating shop to work in. We are there for the community. We don't just open the door and hope that the community comes in. We actually actively seek to be part of the community. Relationship with the customers. They love us and they are really grateful for the effort they know we put in to keep the bookshop open. We very much feel like the books here are curated rather than selected or bought. I could walk you around the shop and show you which books had been recommended by which of our volunteers. There will be no other shop like Ketz Books because there's no other town that is Wyndham with this combination of people in it. This is Wyndham Abbey, built in 1107 and is one of the grandest religious buildings in East Anglia. Here is Sue Ward, a steward at the Abbey, who is going to tell us more. One of the biggest attractions for visitors to the Abbey is the wonderful altar screen that was designed and built by Comper, who was a well-known church architect. It was uh, mooted as a possibility before the First World War. A later addition to the church was when the Priory installed the new clear story that can be seen there and its angel roof. Angel roofs are not uncommon in Norfolk, there are others, but what it actually depicts is heaven and angels looking down from heaven on the congregation.
Here is the Abbey's Café, where they showcase fine displays explaining the fascinating history of the Abbey. They also have artefacts and documents from their archives on display, where some are over 500 years old. Here's Sue explaining more. It's the oldest piece of embroidery known in the country. It was made around 1300. Its purpose is to hold a piece of linen known as the corporus. There is a replica above it here, which is very beautifully embroidered. The Kets was prominent and is famous for their rebellion in the 16th century and was led by William and his brother Robert. And here lays their tomb slab in Wyndham Abbey. Therefore, Wyndham is known for the Kets family and they have several places named after them. For example, here is Kets Oak Tree, which can be found en route from Norwich into Wyndham. There's no judgment. There's no agenda, it's just somewhere where you can come and be valued and loved. My name's Paul Smith, I'm the pastor here at Wyndham Baptist Church. My name's Emma Smith, I'm Paul's wife and I'm project director of Roots Community Cafe. We took part as a church in a nationally wide campaign called Who Cares and it asked questions and one of the questions was what hurts the most and when we got our feedback back and all the questions and we analysed it, loneliness was the biggest reply. So we just wanted to open something that enabled people to meet other people, to spend time with people, um, somewhere they could come that was warm. If they didn't want to spend any money they didn't have to. It's lovely, it's all different ages to get together. Me, me and my wife look after the grandsons and we come here to actually just get away from the house and get out. We've only been here, lived in Windham for about, this is about the fourth year. This is a nice place to be. That is, you know, everybody comes here and usually talks to you. Yeah. We have people who come into the cafe who are lonely um, and uh, in some sort of need or just need somebody just to talk to or a place just to come and be quiet and be still and I keep an eye open for any newcomers and people who come in and perhaps by themselves and then we just go and share some time with them if that's what they want. It's, it's not just the customers that might be lonely and, and want friendship, we do as well. Yeah. Um, not not so whether we're lonely or we've just got one or two problems. Uh, you know, they dissolve when you come here. 